How's it going, friends? Reckless Yuki here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. And in this video, I just want to take a little time to talk with you guys to let you know some things I've been thinking over as far as things that I want to purchase in order to try to improve the quality of my YouTube channel. And I have my reasons for wanting to do both, but then I also have my reasons for not wanting to do both. And the two things that I really need to basically make up my mind is whether or not I want to get some Pascal GPUs or if I want to do this full blown out water cooling rig setup. And I'll kind of just break it down as far as my opinions on both and let you guys know what I'm kind of leaning towards. And then I'll definitely want to get some feedback from you guys in the comment section below as far as what you guys think, whether I'm on the right track or if I'm an absolute idiot. <laughs> Anyways, hopefully my t fat talking head here isn't going to be too boring for you. If so, there's definitely plenty of other tabs you could open up to browse whatever you're interested in but hopefully you at least listen to what I have to say. Now, when it comes to some Pascal GPUs, I know that that's kind of getting hyped up right now as far as being one of the best options if you're trying to go with 4K gaming. And 4K gaming is pretty ridiculous. It definitely takes a lot of horsepower to do so. And my goal when I built my PC was to be able to do 4K gaming at 60 frames per second, recording that and uploading it for the qual like the highest quality I could here on YouTube, and I'm able to achieve that with the current setup. Now with the original setup I had, I basically had two GTX 980s, which weren't cutting it, so I thought I would throw in another 980 for a total of three, and that was still not cutting it. And then when the 980 Ti's came out, I kind of held off for a little bit, I, but I finally like sunk in and got them, and I am able to achieve 4K at 60 frames per second, as you've seen in some of my recent videos but that takes a lot of time to edit and render and upload and for YouTube to process those videos. It takes a lot of time, but I'm happy to do so for the best quality possible for your visual entertainment. And when the new Pascal GPUs were about to come out or they are about to come out later on this year, somewhere in the mid summer, I believe is when they're supposed to be coming out. I'm not sure if I'm gonna wanna get them because I'm perfectly content with my 980 Ti's and my 980 Ti's are able to do exactly what I need to. And even though the Pascals are supposedly 10 or 15 times better than the Maxwell architecture, I'm not sure if that's going to actually relate to frames per second or actual gaming performance, but I'm very interested to see like many of you as far as what the actual benchmarks are. And when it comes to the actual benchmarks, I'll let the top tech tubers do that because I'm just a small fry in this YouTube world. And I'm definitely going to listen to the opinions of people like Linus Tech Tips, J2 Cents, Paul's Hardware, uh, Awesome Sauce, uh, as well as some other guys like Joker Productions who's trying to get into that game. So there's definitely a lot of YouTubers out there who are into that sort of thing. And I'm just gonna take the opinions of them. I'm not gonna try to put myself in there unless if there's some sort of card that no one reviewed and I possibly have, sure, I'll do a benchmark of it to try to uh, like add to the community but I'm definitely not going to try to pursue that as trying to get my hands on the things when they first come out because there's no competing against those top YouTubers who are already going to get the cards for free well before the actual release. So I think it's silly for me to try to compete against that as far as trying to grow on YouTube. Now, as far as for the performance of the cards, I don't think that they're going to be that like, I know they're going to be better than the 980 Ti's, I am pretty sure, but we really don't know anything official yet. We don't know how that extra performance will relate when we're talking about gaming performance. Um, so I am interested to see how that goes, but I don't think I'm actually going to get the Pascals. Now, when it comes to a full blown out water cooling setup, a full blown out water cooling setup is something that I always wanted. Ever since I first saw them as a teenager, I saw these crazy builds on the internet. And, you know, I had friends who were really into it, like who were all working on their A plus certification. I kind of worked on my A plus certification in high school, but fell through the cracks because I got pretty bored of it. And I remember like just looking at these monster PC builds even back then. And now it's just even got even more crazy. And I kind of want to have a monster build like that. I already have the monster parts, but I just don't have the monster water cooling set up. As you already know, I basically have everything set up as an all-in-one cooler. And I think that I would like to try to create myself a channel showpiece. So, you know, when I usually do videos, I have the tripod here and it's facing at me. And then you have the three monitors here. Well, I'm thinking of getting rid of one of the monitors because I really only need two. And then the third one is I don't really use it that much. And then I'm going to have the water tower or the P new PC case with the custom build just like right there and it's always going to be over my left shoulder and I think that would be kind of a channel showpiece 
to show people that I'm not an idiot when I talk about things when it comes to tech, that I actually have an idea of what I'm talking about, uh, especially because when it comes to things like that uh, Alienware video I did not so long ago that I didn't expect to blow up the way that it did, uh, people assumed that my PC is a big piece of crap because they didn't actually watch the whole video where I explained to them what I currently have and my opinions on it. Now, most of you guys watching it probably came from that video, and I do appreciate your guys' support and understanding where I was coming from with that because you are most likely like the smart group of the bunch who watch YouTube videos. Um, you are well aware of you know trying to hear people out and then taking their opinion and then kind of weighing it against your own to make your own opinions besides just blindly following some brand that doesn't care about you. Um, <laughs> but that's like any other brand. But anyway, so I want to basically build a showpiece. Now, when it comes to the cost of these, like the Pascal GPUs, I have no idea how much they're going to cost. Probably maybe like, I don't even know what to speculate because they're going to have a replacement Titan. They're going to have a replacement 980 and then 970. And then who knows if they're going to have like another 980 Ti. It'll be like a 1080 Ti or something like that. So I'm curious to see where they go with it before I try to jump on the first Pascal uh, bandwagon, I guess. And I want to see the gaming performance. Now, when it comes to the water cooling, the way that I have it set up is I have a cheap case in mind, which is a Thermaltake Core P5. And I know Thermaltake has a lot of gripes here on YouTube, but I like the looks of the case. I think it's a cool looking case. And then the water cooling setup, like I have planned to have everything EK water blocks if possible. And then some uh, other companies, like some other companies for the fluid and some other companies for the tubing. But for the most part, every faster fitting block and radiator will be EK. So I think that would be pretty cool to have. And this setup is gonna run me about $1,600, which is just ridiculously expensive. And I also tried to contact these companies to see if they'll support me in any way to basically give me a discount saying that I'm building a showpiece for my channel that will be in every video, but uh, I got no response. They just ignored me. So this is just gonna come out of my own pocket. Now, one cool thing though, is Jay's Two Cents has a discount code that he just launched today over at Performance PCs. And it's 10% uh, off of whatever they have. I think that's how I read it correctly, all the way up until Valentine's Day. So I think I'm kind of more leaning towards doing the water cooling setup. And I think it'll be pretty cool. Like at least I'm really interested in it. And the reason why I really want to do the water cooling setup is I don't like having my all-in-one coolers, even though they work fantastic. I live in Arizona. It gets freaking hot, not as hot as Phoenix, but it does get decently warm. And you see this air conditioner right here. It doesn't really do that good of a job. It's able to keep this room from getting ridiculously, ridiculously hot, but it just barely keeps it somewhat comfortable. And my PC, whenever I game or render or do anything, it just screams, those 3000 uh, RPM fans just scream. And you know, some people would recommend like, oh, well you shouldn't have 3000 RPM fans. Well, you have no idea how hot it gets here. And you know, a lot of people who kind of say that they just work fine on air coolers and they have their stuff overclocked on air coolers, well, they probably live in cooler areas where they don't need to worry about it as much or their like apartments or housing, whatever they live in actually has quality air conditioning where me in this room, the only air conditioning I have is that little portable unit, which doesn't do a super good job, but it's better than nothing. So that's why I kind of wanted to do this custom loop because it will have like a single 480 rad. And then I'm thinking like two, 360 rad. So there's going to be a ton of radiator space to dissipate as much heat as possible from the motherboard, the uh, CPU and GPUs. So, I mean, that's, that's the game plan for that. So, I mean, as you could tell already, as I talked heavily about it, I'm really leaning over to it because that's like, I already uh, priced out everything. That's how I kind of got it and already have like the whole thing set up in my mind as far as how I want to do it. So either the Pascal GPUs or the water cooling setup, and I'm leaning towards the water cooling setup and I really want to show piece for the channel. And, you know, I also just want a quieter PC and I'm not worrying about my CPU thermal throttling because that was another issue my PC was having over the summer was, I mean, it was just getting way too damn hot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, so that's like the main focus of the video and like what I want to talk about now. There are some other things that I did recently purchase that hopefully are going to add to the prestige of my channel. As you see in the back here, <laughs> this is like my tripod and this has been my tried and true tripod for 
ever since like I basically started the channel when I used to just use this and my little camcorder here. And this is what kind of got me started. Now it didn't really get me very far because the quality of my camcorder wasn't as good as the DSLR that I'm talking to you guys now that I'm using as this webcam, which you guys saw in the last video. And then like this tripod I got for $20 on Amazon and it served me well. It's just like basically something to stick a camera on that you don't really plan on moving. But there is no creative possibilities with this, or I'm just not creative enough to use the creative possibilities of this, which I don't think it's due to me. I think it's due to the equipment. So I recently purchased like new tripod, new true fluid head, new sliders, new basically camera working gear to try to improve the quality. And whenever I do product reviews, try to do those like fancy B-roll shots. I see all the other YouTubers doing, and I figure I should try to jump on that train to ride it as well as trying to progress my channel to increase the video quality production because growing here on YouTube is something that I would like to do. Um, and I figure I need to try to do every little bit I can to try to help me grow and succeed at doing this. So that is something else. And I definitely spent a good amount of change on that, um, like the whole setup. I definitely didn't buy any Manfrotto stuff because that was just way too expensive for me. I looked at all the budget items that people recommended and also took a gamble on some other items that I'm not sure if they're gonna work as well as I hope they're gonna work, but I'm hoping that they work well enough for me to do the things that I wanna do in my small little room here for YouTube and content creation. And as well as, let's see, yeah, I mean, that, that's about it. It's like I got some new things for camera, new things for that. And then I also almost got scammed out of a new camera, which I'll probably talk about in another video. I'll like make a video warning you guys on how to not get scammed on things like Amazon because I was almost scammed. Well, not really. I already saw through them, but I figured some people might actually fall for it because the only reason scammers do scams is because people fall for it and it turns out to be fruitful. But uh, anyway, so that's all the things I had to share with you guys in this video. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. I look forward to seeing your comments in the comment section below. As most of you guys know, I try my best to reply to every one of you guys because, you know, there's not a whole lot of people who comment on my videos anyway. But I do appreciate it. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you guys again in the next one. Bye-bye.